So let's talk about the next big thing after atoms that we can so far see in matter, and that's molecules. So what are molecules? When two or more atoms link up together, they form molecules. Again, simply put, H2O, two parts oxygen, one part no, two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. How millions of those types of atoms form water. But let's take something ordinary, like salt. For instance, all you need to do is take one part sodium and one part chloride, and you come up with NaCl, and that's common table salt. Let's take another one. Let's take sugar. If you have six parts carbon, 12 parts hydrogen, and six parts oxygen, that's how you make sugar. So next time you want to ask somebody, hey, pass the table salt, tell them to pass you some sodium chloride or pass you some NaCl. Or if you really want to get fancy and impress your date or something, if you need sugar for your coffee or sugar for your tea after dinner, say, excuse me, can you give me six parts carbon, um, 12 parts hydrogen, and six parts oxygen? Again, that's everyday sugar. So remember, anything and everything, living or non-living, has a combination that's from the periodic table that comes from matter, that comes from taking out the smallest piece, making a little atom, then combining these atoms, linking them together to form millions and millions of molecules. Again, common table salt.